Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Two Against the Overlords campaign where Tapcat and I am trying to win against psionically mutated overlords and their henchmen. It is time for Operation Deadman's Anger. The 11 enemies are sounding a little bit low so something is up and i don't know exactly what uh, so we're going to find that out but it's a dark vip mission uh, so no it's actually a neutralize a target mission so that might just be a general uh, our team is quite strapped so i needed to scratch from the bottom of the barrel whatever i could find which is why we're going in with two field medics, a tech specialist, a marksman, reaper, and uh, the legend himself, Hawkbite. But we should be fine, uh, simply because any six uh, of the soldiers could win against uh, only 11 enemies. So we should actually be not uh, too bad off. Let's jump right into the action. Menace 1 5, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Good, it's a VIP mission, I was wrong, it's, uh, of course it is a VIP mission. And we got ourselves a nice little fun lancer on top of all of the other things. So, with that in mind, uh, let's As you order, use our shell in order to scout. There's an alien patrol nearby. Very nice. Are we concealed? Yes, we are. Got it covered. It's far, but I can reach it. I'm all over it. All right, we're just um, rushing towards the enemy. Very nice. I think I'll engage relatively quickly. It's a decently uh, sized pack. Okay, good to know there is yet another pack. Now we wait. This you should shred all of them and <coughs> can we get a quick hit? Um, hmm. Understood. Moving out. Moving forward, but not too far. And let's shred these guys. I call bullshit on that one. Great. <sighs> Wonderful. Well, we're going to keep our mimic beacon safe and secure right there. No, no, maybe. Okay, cool. Let's uh, start here. And how do we want to deal uh, with that?
good. That prevents full cover from happening and this here would almost kill him. We just need to set these guys up correctly. But before we do that... Let's make sure we kill the one in the background here. Um, Comet Protocol is four points of damage, so that's a secure kill. Respectively a secure sustenance. Good, this might be an explosion, but I can't really prevent that from happening. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Moving in. And we're staying here with Perry. Take the Viper out. It's still up. And how about we're moving to here, which will give us a full... Shouldn't, shouldn't have braced beforehand, that was stupid. Should have just gone into the right position and face off. There is the blade storm. Ah, into lightning reflexes, unfortunate. Acid glob, yep. Yeah, not a very good turn. Definitely not one where I um, where I played this uh, the map uh, very well. Quite the opposite. And part of it was the stupidity. The stupidity of getting caught out here. All right, careful. Getting this guy down. On your order. Move up. Adrenaline rush into healing into taking a shot afterwards. Very well. Shredding. That's a good shred. Into moving slightly back. Into removing the entirety here for further shredding and killing. Good.
And that unfortunately was not so good. The bishop, uh, it would have been great to have the bishop. Good, we're combat protocoling. Softening up the bishop. And finishing him or putting him rather into sustenance. Hit into kill. We're getting more focus. Also, the parry here will withstand uh, the armor. Yep, well, that was our beloved Lancer. There is some more Blade Storm. Into a parry. Moving up. Not quite at the edge. That was actually the perfect result because now we can get a two for one kill and get Hawk by fully filled up. Which in return allows us to pick up this. We're getting back into the shadows and I can get there. Let's double check what we're dealing with. There must be one more pack. Yeah, easy, okay. No problem. Complete shocker, they are reacting to us. Oh, you know what, just for funsies. That was a nice little, a nice little hit. Um, that's a solid kill. We're moving over, hitting that assault. Or not hitting it. And I think what we can do here is do the classical invert trick. Followed by a shooting squad. That's just going to take him out. Good. 
Good. Move up to here. Everybody else is just running out. Yeah, it was a bit of a rocky start, but then after the XCOM small bullshittery where we uh, got caught out, uh, the rest actually worked out surprisingly well. There you go. We're going to get a set of reinforcements soon. Pot here. Good. That last pack might run right into us. Okay, of course it does. That's always the problem with primes. Listen, I still want to deal with that prime. One. Two. Three, four, come on, it's dead by now, isn't it? There we go, good boy. I think it's fair to just get everybody out. Closing on target position now. Let's start with you. And then we're doing a bit of an evac all. Of course we could have killed the others, but there is no need to do that. The only real playing mistake on uh, this mission was uh, the aggressive utilization of uh, the Reaper. Could have done that a bit better. Rest was okay. Okay, so... Yeah, we got a lot of intel, Excellent work, Commander. which isn't bad. Efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. And I mean, we're currently, uh, we're currently doing a lot of research. Uh, next up, upgrade the shadow chamber. Let's research the psionic gate. 
and then we should be good. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, not much more that we can do at the moment. Um, it's really getting towards those final stages. We certainly have enough supplies. Um, let's see if we can still upgrade something. Don't believe we can, but just in case. Um, well, we could upgrade the Rage Armor, but we need more Alarium for that. we're okay we're we just need to wait for Alarium to uh, to pop up on the screen good negative traits removed that's a good start let's see we do have more negative traits that we can remove our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance fabulous So what else can we do? Uh, more contacts, don't need that. Intel, Bond, Barpups, yeah, not really necessary, but the nine dodge are nice. So um, let's keep that in mind. 10 dodge and the superior uh, PCS, that's really good. Another Reaper. More alien loot. Well, they are really good options here Hogbite is tired and he does have quite a bit of dodge already so I'm wondering if we want to give more to our assault infantry might be the right place to start Good. In terms of in terms of level up, we got another kernel. And we got plenty of um, XCOM ability points as well. So yeah, for our final mission uh, we will get a really good team together. I can already see that. Setting course for sector 13. Africa. Good, let's get some more intel and we got another raid. Well, that's not bad, plus a couple of losses here. That should be good. Um, that's something that Tapcat needs to take care of. We're soon going to have the last research. And once that is done, I think we might be uh, good to go for the last mission. I don't see a whole a whole lot of additional uh, things that we would need to do. Knowing now that the elders are apparently suffering at the hands of some terminal affliction explains their absence from the public eye. What sort of ailment could possibly be good? That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, quick and sweet. Uh, such a nice mission. Take it over to you. I need some help with uh, the next mission and we're hopefully going to uh, get things sorted out uh, soon. Uh, plus, we're on our last uh, lap before going to Waterworld, which I'm very much looking forward to. Thanks for watching, guys, as always, and have a good one. Bye-bye.